Hey y'all, Countryman here. I got glare on my eyes from that light. Uh, this is a video on, uh, it's a rant video. It has to do with politics, uh, religion, and prepping, and voting, and who I'm voting for. So if you're not, in, and if you're not into any of that, uh, do me a favor and hang up now. I went, I was raised Church of Christ. My mom uh, drug me to church all my life. One of the ladies, when the, when the preacher got up to preach, I usually laid down and took a nap for that hour. I done that until I was 10, 11 years old and on a seat. And the ladies got on to my mom one day at church and says, why do you let him sleep? And my mom looked at him. She said, would you rather he be up screaming like the rest of the kids? And my mom was cool. So uh, they didn't say much after that. But I, I was, I mean, if you ever listen to the radio or listen to a book on tape while you're sleeping, you actually... Uh, comprehend more of it. So I, I didn't turn out half bad because my mom drug me to church. I, I appreciate that. I love her to death. Uh, God bless her heart. She's looking down in heaven saying, well, he ain't the best in the world, but I'm proud of him. Uh, I started back to church about two months ago. And my life has changed drastically since then. I've give up a couple of bad habits, started a few new ones. Uh, uh, made some friends, lost some friends, uh, and here the there, I, I think I'm better off. And I've got to put my glasses back on to see what I was reading for this. This is going to be a long video. I already figured it out. Yes, I'm a Christian. I was baptized in 1981, I believe, and, uh, I went out to California, stayed out there too long, and lost every bit of religion I had. I came back to America and married a good woman. Uh, her and I studied the Bible in, in the truck, and we done okay. She passed away on me. I went back on the road, got unhealthy, finally got moved down here. To make a long story short, I'm back in church, and I've been there about a month and a half, and uh, should have been there all my life. Am I, I'm not perfect, by no means, last time I tried walking on water, I almost drowned. Uh, going to try to do better on my videos, less cussing, and stuff like that. Who am I voting for this year and why? Uh, I've never voted for a Democrat in my life, so we ain't even going to go there. Got one word for you. Uh, illegal immigration and Benghazi. That should cover everybody on that side. Uh, who am I voting for? Uh, I... All the ones that don't have purse strings. Or an agenda. Uh, Rubio. He's Cuban. He's got. He's he's an all immigrant. Uh, Bush down there. Uh, he's a wimp. Uh, Hillary's a communist. Obama, thank God, he ain't running again. Uh, plain and simple, I'm voting for Trump. I do believe. He has no first strings. He's a multi-millionaire. I mean, is he going to worry about me making uh, social security disability? Doubt it. Uh, but if he turns out to be a good man, he can go up there and clean house in, in uh, D.C. Uh, does he need the money? Why would anybody? Want to run for president when it's, I think I said 240000 but some uh, had a friend of mine tell me that it's up to 500000 a year for being a president. Yeah, but when you're a multi-billionaire, $500,000 will buy you lunch and a case of beer, you know? 
So uh, I don't know if Trump is doing it for the right uh, uh, reasons or not. But I like everything he's saying. So that's what I'm going for. You can't argue with the man on uh, what he believes in. And even Fox News is down on him to the simple fact that uh, he has no purse strings. He has no, uh, well, he's never been an a, a elected official, and he's never done this, and he has no foreign policy, and he, uh, well, you know, uh, he's not politically correct. Well, neither am I. I think that's the reason I like the guy. But uh, if he tells you like it is, I seen him on, uh, oh, what's that show with, Whoopi Goldberg and them, the, I can't even think of it, L left wing liberal, liberal show, and uh, he just blew them girls away, which I love it. Uh, I guess I'm going to be the only poor Republican that you ever met. I believe, live below the poverty level, according to their little statistics. I get a whole $26 a month in food stamps. Ooh. And uh, I'm on Medicare. Well, you know, I'm disabled. I'm, that's part of the system that I paid into. And it, it comes out per, uh, pretty good. Why is America going downhill the way it is? Because... Uh, all of our elected officials are sending the jobs overseas and because it's cheaper and all the unions here in America wants 25 30 bucks an hour for making uh, uh, whiz bang doohickeys and you know you can't do that <sighs> gonna lose a lot of friends bust a union make them work for a living and uh, pay everybody a fair wage. That's the way I look at it. I've never worked for a union all my life. Uh, may lose a couple of friends over that. I, you know, that's my opinion. I, you know, as of 10 10 we're still a free America. And you can get in trouble for some of the things you say. I mean, you know, I ain't said on there that I'm going to kill anybody. So, I don't guess I've broken any laws. Why Trump? Because he has no purse strings. Uh, where's my channel going? I have no idea. I've decided that I'm not a prepper. Uh, but I am going to do what my mom done. And that's cook and live frugally and can stuff up and uh, save back for a rainy day. My mom was a teenager through the Great Depression. She had eight kids. I was the last one. Save the best for last. I don't care what anybody says. But, uh, you know, you're, you're sitting here and she, she done all that and I was the last one at home, just me and mom, my dad passed away, and we still had a half acre garden, canning and putting stuff back, uh, all because she knew how bad it could get during the depression, and I'm glad that some of it runned off on me, I know how to can my tomatoes, water bathing, I know how, uh, Paula Allen 2045, just, just Paula Allen now, she, uh, gave me a pressure canner, God bless her heart, I have paid it forward and give other people pressure canners, and it's just something that I love to do. Uh, I buy on a budget. I've got my newspaper here. I, you know, uh, one of my last videos, I was talking about the pork butts was on sale for 99 cents a pound. Well, I decided against that since I ate pork most of this month. I had pork steak for dinner tonight. But uh, chickens are going to say on the sale starting tomorrow. 35 cents a pound. Uh, I'm all over that. I've washed up most of my jars, cleaned my sink off, and going to be canning this next week on chicken. There's a lot of things you can do with chicken. 
uh, you can take that. I, I do it bone in 75, uh, 75 minutes for bone in chicken at my uh, pressure, which is 10, 11 pounds for 90 minutes. And the broth is good. If you after you take those, if you want to debone or cook your chicken, debone it, and then turn around and and uh, make you some broth and debone and, and and with the bones and everything, you can have the best bob broth you are. Or you can leave your bones in and got the best take of chicken you ever had in your life. I'm rambling. I don't know why, but I uh, felt need to do this video. Uh, met some new friends here lately. Uh, uh, good people and I'm trying so I'm going to let you go for now and about you know all the people are coming over here and saying that we're not politically correct and everything and we're uh, uh, can't have a flag, or you can't have a rebel flag, or you shouldn't say that because it's not politically correct, or I uh, don't believe in none of that whatsoever. So, if you hang around, I'll understand. If you don't, I won't. But I want to, everybody just say a prayer for the United States. Say a prayer for our president when we get one. And uh, God bless America. And if I can do it, anybody can. If I can help anybody out in any way, let me know. And uh, if I can't find somebody that knows the answer, I'll, or if I don't know the answer, I'll find somebody that does. God bless for now. Countryman out. If I can do it, anybody can.